back to my channel so before i get into this um diy i just wanted to quickly say that this is not a tutorial for younger children i know that quite a bit of my demographic are actually younger audience but i know that there are some people out there that are my age also or older that love doing kawaii crafts and stuff like that and that's why you're on my channel obviously this definitely is for i would say over 18s it uses a kind of plastic that needs melting so it can be very very high temperature please don't think i'm belittling anybody younger than me i just want to put this out there just to make sure that everybody's safe i did wear a mask and i also wore heat protective gloves during this just for my own protection as well as this long sleeve jumper so that i didn't burn myself or anything but i want to put this in before like i get started with the diy just so that you're fully aware and that i've kind of just mention the fact that this just isn't suitable for really young people so yeah hopefully that's okay with you and yeah just gonna get straight on into it so to start off with i took a ball of polymer clay and i just used this orange color because i have so much of it but i just rolled it into a ball then rolled that into a snake and pinched out one of the ends to make it nice and thin and i curved it round on itself to make a little shrimp body what I then did was I took another small ball of polymer clay, I then pinched that in my two fingers to make it kind of like a diamond shape, and then I folded it in half to make the tail. What I then did was attach this to the body. I don't know if anyone else has noticed here, but I have got orange on my hands from the polymer clay. I don't know why this always happens to me, but no matter what colour I use, it always comes on my hands, so let me know any tips to avoid that. I don't know what it is, but I just baked that according to the instructions on the packet. Next, taking a bowl full of warm water, I then took some fairy kind of washing up liquid and I popped loads of that into it and then stirred that in and mixed it up. I've seen this way of making moulds a lot on um, YouTube from various different kind of YouTubers. But basically what I did was I took some 100% silicone and just popped this into the washing up liquid water combination to kind of be able to mould it. It did get a bit messy because I didn't have enough washing up liquid but after adding quite a bit to my hands and like on top of it I eventually got a ball which I was able to press my baked shrimp into. Like I said I've seen so many tutorials on this so I'm not really sure like who to link back to so I'm really sorry but I'm sure someone came up with this idea first of all but this is a really good way to make moulds. I just then moulded the silicone around all the edges and then I actually decided to pop it onto a bit of cardboard because the washing up liquid must have deteriorated or something because it started sticking to my hand and look how gross this looks, it just looks so bad but I popped it down onto a piece of cardboard and then just moulded it around the shrimp again and then I let that dry overnight. So now we're back to today, this is what the mould looks like, it just looks exactly the same, nice and a big brown mess and what I did was I just slightly peeled the silicone away from the polymer clay, it didn't stick at all which was brilliant, I didn't add anything to the clay and I did worry about this a bit last night, I thought oh my goodness should I have covered it in something but I didn't and it actually popped out just fine once all the silicone had cured. So once I had the mould fully ready, I then pulled it off of the cardboard and then just set it aside. So down in my kitchen at my hob with my heat resistant gloves on, I actually took this plastic and this is actually from a fishing store. Basically what I've used is a plastic that they use to make fishing bait because I was in the shop the other day and I came across like little gummy worm things and I was like, oh my goodness I need to make my own of them there must be a way to do it and I went to the fishing shop and they had this plastic stuff to make your own fishing bait does that make sense basically it's a plastic that you heat up and it comes out like milk to begin with and then you just keep stirring it and it eventually goes clear 
So once I had it all heated up and everything, I then popped some resin dye into it and I just carried on heating it up until it was all clear and pink and it kind of looked a bit radioactive at this point. But I got my spoon and I just carefully spooned bits out of it into my mould. Like I said at the start of this video, this is not for children, anything to play around with. This is actually like, you know, a product that grown adults use to make baits and everything. So yeah, please be careful if you do try this. I don't want to like belittle you or anything, but it is really important to wear gloves, a like breathing mask, as well as long sleeve clothing so you don't burn yourself. Anyway, this stuff cools down really, really fast and as you can see here on my pan, it just started peeling away just like some flexible kind of plastic and it just peeled out and it was so satisfying. The colour that I actually put in this was called Peach Blossom. It didn't have a brand or anything, it was just from a set that I bought from eBay um, a few years back which is just resin dye, just type that in on eBay. Anyway, I then filled up my saucepan after cleaning it out with cold water and I just popped my mould with the little shrimp in it into the pan just to make sure 100% it was fully cured in there because obviously the shape was quite thick. So I left it in there for about a minute or so to fully cool down and then I removed the mould and popped out the shape from inside. Once the shape was fully removed, I then popped it back into the saucepan once again just to make sure that it was fully cool and this what I found so funny and I was actually popped this on my YouTube earlier because I got so funny at this point. It just looked like a funny little pink shrimp floating around in its water, I don't know. I just thought it was so funny. Anyway, once the shape was fully 100% cured and I knew it was fully like set and everything, I then took it back upstairs and I cut off any excess bits on it. The colour of this is really really hard to show because it is transparent so it keeps like showing up orange but it's actually like a really really bright neon pink almost like a highlighter and I did actually pop some gold glitter in there as well which you can see in person but again it's not showing up on camera really that great so that's a bit of a disappointment but anyway I just cut off any of the excess bits and smoothed it out with my scissors. Next I took some black fabric paints and I just painted on a little mouth with a paintbrush which I actually got from the model section in the craft store because it has such a fine tip on it, it was perfect for such little detail. So I painted on the mouth and the eyes with the black and I also added some white highlight to the eyes using fabric paint also. This pink colour over here wasn't actually um, fabric paint, it was acrylic paint, as you can see it's a lot more watery. This didn't actually hold up so well, you know, I'm a couple hours after I actually filmed this now, but I wouldn't recommend using acrylic paint. This pink one that I'm using now is acrylic paint and it just flaked off, so I actually had to replace it with a pink fabric paint. So yeah, definitely stick to the fabric paint if you want to make something flexible and you need paint to be flexible too. With that pink colour, I did also add some stripes to the body of the shrimp. It did flake off, like I said, and I replaced it with normal fabric paint, but I just thought I would address that because you can still see that here. So once you can see the prawn away from like my fingers, you can actually see what the colour is, and this is the exact colour it is in real life. It's not orange, it is that highlighter pink colour, which I think is so, so gorgeous. Now I do want to give a shout out to Macaroon, you know Joanna over there Macaroon because this video was definitely inspired by that and when I seen those little fishing baits I thought of her video and that's exactly why I kind of mashed the two up and got this video for you today. Even though I didn't use any of like the materials that she did I thought I would still give a huge shout out as I'm a massive fan and yeah I'm really really happy with how this turned out. I think it's so funny. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!